Hey everybody, it's Toe Gamer Junkie, and I welcome you all back to my channel. So, um, I know what you're thinking when you've seen the title of this video, it's like, uh, Max isn't going to be killed off in the comics, that would be so stupid. It's like, now, um, I don't believe that either, but it really has got me thinking it might happen, like, there's a possibility it can happen. And the reason I think this is because, uh, of a comment I got when this came out. When I released it, I mean. Now, um, this is actually a comment by, um, uh, someone named Heads20. And they said, I think what real what Warren really wanted to say, but he couldn't, was that Sam Beckett died, not jumped home. But he couldn't say that to Max. OMG, I want to know the end of the story so bad. Now, um, what that's, if any of you remember, um, Warren, um, tells Max how the, how her situation is similar to a character named Sam Beckett from Quantum Leap. Now, the show Quantum Leap is about a guy, and for some reasons, like, because uh, I never saw the series, okay, I saw a few episodes, I didn't know how it ends in that. I really thought, like, he jumped back home, I honestly thought that was the ending. But, um, the point of it is, um, he basically starts jumping into people's bodies, and after he does what he's meant to do, he ends up jumping to the next one. Now, um, at, like, at the end, like, because the guy said he died, like, and I was like, why well, he can't die? And then I looked it up, and he actually died. Well, he was, like, l lost in time, but it's like, it's like, oh, I honestly don't really get it either. But the show was cancelled, so, technically, like, because I've read it was cancelled. Because, like, then again, I haven't seen this, so forgive me if my knowledge isn't that good. But anyways, um, it... Like, it could be possible, because if it is hurting Max, like, the the jumps, maybe her brain could just, like, split apart in that, like, a melon. But anyways, um, that's actually uh, one of the flickers I want to talk, talk about. Now that we know, like, that she isn't, in a way she's creating timelines, but, like, the question is, is she creating the timelines, or are the timelines already there, and she's just jumping between them, like, in Quantum Leap? Now, um, there's actually, um, there's actually, um, apparently, because I was reading up, and there was, um, there was, like, apparently this lot, for Quantum Leap, there was apparently this lost alternate ending where he did make it home. I don't know about that, but apparently he made it home. But anyways, um, I want to talk more about these flickers, to be exact. Now, how will it, how will, um, what do you call it, these flickers affect her mentally? Because as we can see, she was already starting to lose it. If you read the comment, she was sitting with Chloe. Then Chloe stood up and started walking. And then this alternate version of her was there and Max was with her. So, really, it's like she start, it looks like she's starting to lose more and more control. Think of, like, um... You ever see that movie with Scarlett Johansson, Lucy, where she has, where that bag of drugs popped in her stomach and she got all those powers, but since, but when she was on the plane, she didn't have the drug, then her, like, whole body started shutting down? Maybe it's like this, maybe Max's powers are growing beyond, like, her body's capacity to contain them, and pretty soon she's just gonna become time itself, like at the end of the movie Lucy, where once she achieves 100%, of the human brain capacity or whatever it was she just disappeared so maybe maybe it's that maybe that's what could happen to max she could just disappear and become time itself like i know it sounds stupid but like we don't know a clear lot like uh one of the endings someone was um going over me actually is um uh, well, um, it was saying, like, um, Max create, sh uh, this person put, like, maybe Max, um, c um, what do you call it, um, what do you call it, uh, go on, draw in a blank here, oh, uh, yeah, now I remember, sorry, she said she, um, he or she, I forget who commented, you know who you are who commented, don't know if it was on, it was on one of my Life is Strange videos, I don't know which one, though, but, um, anyways, he or she said that they wanted to see an ending where, uh, Max sacrificed herself to save, uh, what, what do you call it, to go back in time and, like, bring William back and, and, like, fix the lot, fix Chloe's life back up, but, sac but she'd have to sacrifice her own life, which, honestly, you know, I have thought about that, like, maybe that could be, that could happen, maybe Max could go 
if Max is flickering, maybe she could like you. Maybe she could take Chloe and flick her back into their past bodies, and she could permanently stay in the body. So that way, she because if the because the flickers are random, and and at the end of Quantum Leap, it said that Sam can control the flickers. So maybe Max can control them too. And if she and if she figures this out and learns how to control them, then um, I assume that she would be able to take Chloe back to when they were little kids and maybe like find a reality that's really great for them, where William doesn't die, she doesn't get in the car wreck, Arcadia Bay doesn't get destroyed by a storm, have the Prescotts locked up along with Jefferson. You know, just I believe if she could do that, she would, and maybe that's what might happen. Because um, one of these. I've actually seen, um, not seen, but I've heard of these flickers from a fanfic that I recommend that you all check out. It's called The Lights of Arcadia Bay. And it's about a Max who has to live with the choice of um, sacrificing Chloe to save Arcadia Bay. Now, it is Chase Field, and I know, ah, oh, what do you know? It's like, oh, Price Field's the best. And yeah, in my opinion, it is. But um, I gotta say, it's the only fanfic where I personally ship Chase Field. In that instance, the writing is so good. There's 101 chapters, I'm pretty sure. It finishes at 100, but the 101 chapter is an epilogue. Anyway, um, what happens um, in it is that Max is actually has flickers like the Max in, in, uh, in the dust issues. And in one of the flickers, she like passes out and ends up going to, uh, what do you call it, a reality where she chose... To kill the Chloe who was paralyzed from the neck down. And apparently she got arrested. And she had to have like this ankle monitor on. And she was at home in Seattle. And um yeah. She, uh, what do you call it? There was like some law thing. Like she got a. She got like a few months. And like on a probation and that. Like because it's some legal term for a mercy killing. I'm not too sure. Um what it was. Anyways. She wakes up back in her. Um, original body and the others mentioned that she's been out for hours so maybe if she like that's something else that could happen she could jump to a reality where her and Chloe are friends again but like her original body could just be limp and comatose and so that Chloe that the Chloe that we're seeing in the comics Max's Chloe she would be, still be in that reality with a uh, Max who's comatose and uh, Max would be in this other reality with Chloe where everything was great. Because it, um, it also like, because um, also later in the fan, in the fan fiction like story, The Lights of Arcadia Bay, uh, what do you call it? Max ends up jumping to a reality where she chose to save Chloe and she has a talk with her. And at the end, she jumps back to her body and like... And that Max, who chose to sacrifice Arcadia Bay, is there glowing. And she's like, oh, I must have blacked out for a while. And then Max later comments in, I think, I don't know what, what, one, what page it is, but she comments on saying, am I jumping between realities? It's like, am I creating realities or am I jumping between ones that I choose? And so, yeah, it's pretty um, interesting. Like, I recommend you uh, look at that fanfic. I'll leave it in the link to it in the description below. Anyways, I'm sorry this video wasn't clear, but you know, I don't really know much about Quantum Leap and that. Uh, I do hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Total Gamer Junkie, signing off.